Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Dissolving. We know from our Geology in a Jiffy video about solutions that a solution is a mixture made up of a solute, the solid that is dissolved, and a solvent, which is the liquid that dissolves the solid. A solute is said to be soluble if it does dissolve in a solvent. For example, if we have the solvent of a black coffee drink, when we add sugar to our coffee, the sugar does dissolve, so the sugar is soluble in a coffee drink. Insoluble means a solute will not dissolve in a solvent. For example, if we have our solvent of a black coffee drink, when we add candle wax to our coffee, the wax does not dissolve, so the wax is insoluble in a coffee drink. Solubility is the ability of a solute to dissolve in a solvent, so making a solution. The solubility is affected by three things. The first is to increase the temperature. A solute will take a long time to dissolve in a cold solvent. A warm solvent will be quicker at dissolving the solute. And a hot solvent will dissolve the solute much more quickly. So the hotter the solvent, the faster the solute will dissolve. We can see this trend using a graph. If we plot temperature on the horizontal x-axis, from cold to warm to hot to hotter, and we plot the mass of the solute that is dissolved up the y-axis, from no solute dissolved to lots of solute dissolved, we see that at cold temperatures, not much solute dissolves. But as the temperature increases, or gets hotter, more solute dissolves. The hotter the solvent, the faster the solute will dissolve. The second way to speed up the dissolving of a solute is to increase its surface area. If we look at a cube of sugar, we see it is made of particles of sugar, with 16 particles all stacked in neat uniform rows. If we then take a solvent and place the cube of sugar into it, only the outer particles will dissolve. So only 12 of our 16 particles, or 75% of them, will immediately dissolve. So it will take longer to dissolve. If we break our lump into two smaller pieces, each of eight particles, most of the 16 particles will dissolve quickly. So overall, the whole solute dissolves more quickly than if it were one big lump. If we break our lump into 16 individual particles, the solute will dissolve very quickly as all 16 particles can dissolve at once. So with our coffee drink, if we wanted sugar in it, but wanted to dissolve the sugar quickly, with the choice of a sugar cube or granulated sugar, the sugar cube with its lower surface area to volume ratio would dissolve slowly, so we would not choose the cube. But the granulated sugar, with its high surface area to volume ratio, would dissolve very quickly. So we use granulated sugar instead of a sugar cube in our coffee. The third way to speed up the dissolving of a solute is to stir it. A big lump of solute in a solvent can only dissolve at its outer surface. But if we take a stirring rod and stir the mixture, the solute will break up with particles breaking away from the lump, eventually dispersing throughout the solvent as the stirring continues, resulting in the solute spread throughout the solvent. Wow! The three ways to speed up the dissolving of a solute. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!